Are young voters in America abandoning Joe Biden? And if so, are they flocking to Donald Trump? Well, just about every US poll seems to show that Biden is underperforming with young people compared to his 2020 results as well as polls at the same time in the 2020 cycle. But the cross-tab results of some of these surveys also suggest that Biden is not only losing ground, Trump is actually gaining support. That's an especially surprising result for the famously progressive and democratic-leaning youth vote. Now, according to a new CNN poll conducted by SSRS, Donald Trump continues to hold an advantage over President Joe Biden in this campaign and the former president's criminal trial as it moves forward. In this coming rematch, opinions about the first term of each man vying for a second four years in the White House now appears to work in Trump's favor. This is with most Americans saying that looking back, Trump's term as president was a success, while a broad majority say that Biden's so far has actually been a failure. Trump's support in the poll among registered voters holds steady at 49% in a head-to-head -head matchup against Biden, the same as in CNN's last national poll on the race in January, while Biden stands at 43%, not significantly different from January's 45%. But this CNN poll was conducted by SSRS from the 18th to the 23rd of April among a random national sample of about 1,212 adults drawn from a probability-based panel that included 967 registered voters. Now, surveys were either conducted online or by telephone with a live interview is what we're told. But results among this full sample have a margin of sampling error. That's a health warning for you. But the findings also reveal that young voters who are part of Democrats' natural base of support, Biden is actually 11 percentage points behind Trump among year, uh, these young voters who are aged between 18 to 34. This is as far as the head-to-head -head match is concerned. This is what the CNN poll conducted by SSRS says. Now, for further clarity into these poll findings and the ground reality as far as the political playground in America is concerned, joining us, former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Commerce, Raymond Vickery, who's also the Senior Associate at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the Wadhwani Chair. Thank you so much, Mr. Vickery, as always, for making time for us. Sir, now, for regardless having... of whether you look at the 18 to 34 category or the 18 to 29 subgroups that are often used in polling young voters, it's quite clear that Biden is underperforming his 2020 numbers. And Trump's favorability rating among the youngest cohort of voters has actually been steadily increasing. Well, I think there's no question that the Gaza situation and the protests have uh, hurt the president's standing among young voters. Uh, you can't watch the kinds of uh, pictures that you saw uh, just on your video feed of what's happening at Columbia University. Uh, and not be concerned, particularly if you're a young person and identify with the people who are being arrested or uh, been, being taken away uh, by authorities. Uh, that having been said, uh, it's always the situation that when there is uh, unrest of this sort, uh, that the uh, the, that the party in power, the president uh, in power, uh, takes a, a hit. And I would caution uh, your uh, viewers uh, to remember that the U.S. polls are uh, not always very accurate. In 2016, uh, they predicted a resounding win for Hillary Clinton. Uh, that didn't happen. In 2020, uh, Donald Trump was going to be reelected, and that didn't happen. So there's a long way to go. And one uh, very interesting uh, fact about uh, the polls that you're talking about is the large portion of undecided. So it may be that there has been some shift, but between now and November, uh, the poll indicates that there is a very large a percentage of young people who have not made up their mind. And of course, what the president's campaign is going to do is to try to remind uh, the young voters of what has been done by this administration yes. in the forgiveness of loans and, and so forth. So that can change very rapidly. It may be a long time to go, Mr. Vickery, but you know, the pro-Palestinian movement in the U.S. 
Today it may be a far cry from the anti-war movement of the 1960s, but the angst and frustration of young Americans is clear and growing as we can see through the visuals on our screens playing out. Clearly it extends far beyond their views of the Middle East, as we can see across these college campuses. But Biden's worst issue approval rating for his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza yields a 28% approval to a 71% disapproval. This actually includes an 81% disapproval mark among those younger than 35. So in this case, with these tensions flaring on college campuses across the United States, could this spiral into political poison for Joe Biden? Well, it's, it certainly hurts. Uh, but the issue, of course, goes uh, much broader than just the effect on uh, young voters. Uh, the two great democracies, uh, India and the U.S., uh, have a very uh, great stake in seeing a resolution of the situation and a stop to uh, indiscriminate uh, killing. And uh, that is uh, a fundamental fact regardless of, of the age category. It is true that uh, young people are more sensitive to the question of peace and war because they're the ones who have to do uh, the fighting if things uh, uh, continue to go south. And of course, what we've seen on our television, uh, as you have seen, as you have shown on NDTV, is vast destruction in Gaza far beyond what uh, one would expect in terms of retaliation for the, uh, uh, the attacks of Hamas on Israel. But it is uh, not the case that uh, it's over uh, with young people. Uh, Trump is not going to be able to uh, get away from his own uh, baggage that he has. This is just one uh, court case which is going on now, uh, and there are three others. And there's always a nostalgia factor. Well, we might have had it better, but if you think back, and I'm sure the Biden administration campaign is going to remind young voters of what happened with the lack of leadership from the from President Trump at the time of the pandemic. So yes, uh, this is a this is a difficulty, but. Uh, the president is having difficulty across uh, across the board, uh, and, and it's not just uh, young voters, uh, but a part of it is uh, the kinds of economic opportunity which is uh, there, and it goes uh, goes beyond what uh, one would expect to happen just f uh, from Gaza. So I think that uh, you have a large undecided. Uh, and while things are not uh, going the president's way now, uh, there, there still is time. And if India and the United States work together, say hypo hypothetically, and there is some re resolution, release of hostage, uh, ceasefire, then the picture can change overnight. Well, in 2016, young voters helped Trump claim victory by either staying home or choosing a third party candidate. In 2020, they helped Biden win by turning out near record numbers and skipping third party options. This latest poll, though, indicates the erosion of optimism among this key group during this presidency of Biden's. It's going to be an uphill task for Biden and the Democrats to correct this before Election Day. But as Mr. Vickery is saying, they still have time. As always, thank you so much, Mr. Vickery, for joining us on NDTV. Thank you for having me.